All right, so today we are gonna be doing a, I guess long overdue showcase for the new and improved Planet Namek Saga category team. And a big part of the reason why I'm so late to this is because as you guys may know, it took me a long ass time to finally pull this int LR Super Saiyan Goku. I think in total I spent about 2,600 stones over the course of four to five videos. And uh, it was definitely one of the worst shafts I've ever been through since I started playing Dokkan. I think the only banner that was worse was the AGL LR Gohan banner during the 300 million download celebration where I spent uh, 3,000 stones and didn't pull a single copy of that Gohan. And now I have him rainbowed with like 10 extra copies. So I'm sure at some point the same thing's gonna happen with this Goku, but at the very least, for now, we have him, the team is complete, and uh, I'm excited for the showcase, guys. So we have the double Frieza leaders. Now this one is my boy Toon Ramis, so big shout out to him. Rainbow Frieza, along with Max Lynx, so this guy's gonna be a monster. And my Frieza's, you know, not too bad. Um, we got one dupe and close to Max Lynx, and we do have the most important Link maxed out, which of course is Big Bad Bosses. And the rest of the team consists of my Int LR uh, Goku, which has no dupes. We have a Rainbow Namek Goku, the original STR one. We have the new Piccolo with two dupes. We have the free to play Frieza for uh, support and tanking purposes. And also the new third form Frieza, who is not maxed out, but uh, he's got some pretty good links. And I gave him a level 5 defense just so he's a bit of a better tank. So that is the team we're going to go with. For today's video and without further ado let's jump into the gt legendary goku event and uh see how this team fares now obviously since the celebration this category has definitely received a massive massive upgrade it really wasn't a team that i ran too much before but now it's like easily one of my favorite teams in the entire game all right so first rotation we have the two freezes and the Goku. So obviously I want to get my Namek Goku linked up with the new LR Goku. And uh, we're going to try to get the full power Frieza and the third form Frieza together. Now I'm thinking we definitely don't want the third form Frieza to tank those attacks right now because obviously he doesn't start off too good in the defense department. So we'll do that and let's give these guys a couple orbs to try to save most of them for the LRs though. So uh, here we go, and we'll give, oh, there we go, those to him. All right, so jumping in now, uh, recently I've been using the Frieza a lot, right? Like the full power Frieza, and I do think overall he's better than the Goku. Now I've seen some Goku slander, which is kind of weird, because like, even though I think the Frieza's better, I do think the Goku is extremely, extremely good. So the fact that people are finding reasons to complain about the Goku, I still find kind of ridiculous, you know, but um, I still think that the MUI Goku from the 6th anniversary is better than both of them, you know, and I haven't really looked up too much like what people are saying about that right now, that's just my personal opinion, obviously if you disagree, that's fine, but I just think like in terms of utility, he brings more to the table, you know, with the dodges, with the revival skill, with the 50% uh, chance to crit against everybody. And also his damage, I think, is still comparable to the Frieza and Goku, no? At least in like, maybe short to medium uh, length events. Obviously in longer events when the Frieza and the Goku are able to like stack up, uh, it might be, uh, you know, advantage for the stackers like the Goku and Frieza. But for a lot of events, I'm guessing the Goku still has them uh, out damaged, maybe. I could be wrong, so don't take my word for it. But my point is, I still think the UI Goku's better, but between the Frieza and the Goku, I would say I think the Frieza is the superior unit, but Goku is still very, very good. Like Goku, I would say is still top five in the game easily. Maybe even higher, maybe like top three, right? It could just be UI Goku, Frieza, and then Namek Goku, but I can't commit to that yet because I have to do some more research 
have to like I guess test them against each other a little bit more. But uh, the point is, man, these units are all really good. The new LRs we recently got, like Global, just got four of the best units in the game, right? Like back to back, like the SSB, Vegeta, the UI Goku, and then now the Frieza and the Goku. All right, enough rambling. Let's uh, take a look at what these guys can do now. So we got my Frieza at. 232,000 defense, which is quite impressive. And wait, what's the third form Frieza at? 78,000. Not great. Not great. Um, okay, ideally, I would like to put the third form Frieza in the first slot so we can get some more attacks off, but it's not really a good idea to put him there in front of the Fizz GT Goku, so I guess we'll just leave the rotation as is. Hopefully, as we get closer to the end of the event, as we get closer to the Super Saiyan 4 Gokus, his defense will become a little bit better, because right now it's really bad. Okay, so... <laughs> Remember, this is not the Rainbow uh, Frieza, right? This is the one dupe Frieza. This is my one dupe Frieza. Oh my god. So, like, like I said before, I think UI Goku is like still better overall, but obviously when you're facing the specific units where they get guaranteed crits, like Frieza against Goku, or Goku against Frieza's, in those instances, those guys are better for sure. Like, in, in that case, it's not even close, because obviously, like, these guys are made to destroy Goku's and Frieza's, respectively. And, um, you know, it's not really a fair comparison, I guess, for this event, just because is definitely going to outshine Goku in uh, the Legendary Goku event because obviously, once again, Frieza gets the guaranteed crits and uh, Big Bad Bosses also makes a big difference, right? Like any unit with Big Bad Bosses where you're able to max it out and get that buff unconditionally, um, you know, that like is a huge, huge boost that any unit that's not getting Big Bad Bosses is missing, right? Like 25% attack and defense is huge, like that's why my Frieza is starting off with such a massive attack stat because it's getting big bad bosses all the time. And also Frieza is just a monster, but I do think the advantage for Frieza also comes from having that big bad bosses link, right? So uh, yeah, I'm a Frieza guy, man. I'm a team Frieza guy. I was since I saw the details and since I saw the animations. And I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. Um... Alright, so I do definitely want my third form Frieza to get some more attacks off. I'm not really sure if this is safe. I'm feeling a little bit nervous about this, but I don't think we would die to a super, so let's put him there. We're going to try to get some healing as well, just to guarantee that we don't die. And as long as we don't take a super attack, we should be okay. Yeah, that was a lot of damage, man. That's a lot of damage. Alright, give me a couple supers. Give me at least like two supers, come on. One more. Oh, okay, alright, alright, that's fine. Not getting super attack though. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so that's a difference between a Rainbow Frieza and a 69% Frieza. Like, I saw my 69% Frieza, I was like, yo, he's doing pretty good. Yo, his, his, his damage is actually... You know, very, very impressive. And then I see Toon Rami's Frieza, who just got about 10 million attack. And I'm like, okay, I see. There's levels to this. There's definitely levels to this. Um, okay, let's put the Goku there. Uh, defense obviously needs to be stacked up a bit more, but I'm not too concerned. Uh, let's give these to the LR Goku and... Frieza's not going to get a super, but it's not a big deal. It's not really doing much damage anyways. Okay, oh, we're getting supered. This could be a little rough. Actually, not too bad. Not too bad. Now, unfortunately, we are going to be losing some defense, because he does lower defense. Um, but we are right. All right, so 5 million attack for our Super Saiyan Goku. Type disadvantage, though, so we're not going to really do much damage, unfortunately. Yeah, what can you do? Gotta dodge though. Yo, that that five percent, five percent dodge coming in clutch. All right. Um, 
Ooh, okay, so definitely don't want to put third from Frieza there. Uh, the LR Frieza is not guaranteed an additional right now, actually. I believe he does need to be get need to get hit in the first slot to get a guaranteed additional. Let me just quickly check. Um, launch this attack at the same time as receive attack. Yeah, so we do need to receive an attack, but I mean, this guy's rainbowed. He has like level 20. F oh, level. Oh, interesting. So Toon gave him level 14 additional and more crit. I would have gone the opposite direction. I would have done more additional than crit, but I guess that's just what he decided to do. I mean, either way, I feel like we're probably still going to kill the the Goku in like one shot. Um, we'll see. But like his attack is just so insane and we're getting crits, so... Ooh, okay, all right, this is a little bit concerning. It's a little bit concerning. If this is a super attack that we're taking in the middle, I think it might be game over for us. Uh, man, we're so close to killing him too, man. Come on, don't do this to me. Thank you, okay, good. Piccolo getting some good attack too, actually. All right, Piccolo should finish things off for us. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, now we are on the Golden Great Ape, who is pretty scary, but we do have Frieza. Um, let me see here. I might want to pop an item just to be safe, so maybe a Princess Snake. Hmm. Do we need it though? I feel like we. I feel like we don't need it. But maybe just to be extra safe. We'll pop the Princess Snake. Pop the Princess Snake. Better better safe than sorry, right? So, yeah, I'll give these... Let's see, actually. Uh, let's give these to Frieza. That's going to set up a nice... Oh, man. I thought it was going to be a 18 key super. All right. Not 18 key, but close enough. And I'll give these to Goku. All right. So, we kind of salvaged that rotation. And Frieza should still be doing some pretty good damage. 4.4 mil. Alright, not bad. And we can potentially get three supers here. And if we get three supers. I mean I don't I don't know if it's enough to actually kill the the ape, but it should come close. Like I did like off camera, I did have a, a run where I got triple supers and he literally killed the ape by himself. Didn't happen there. But it definitely was in play. If we got an 18 key super, then it would have been possible for sure. And also if we had like another Frieza for the big bad bosses. But that was still pretty good. That was still pretty good. And next turn, once we get the other Frieza in rotation, it, it's pretty much over, man. I mean, like this guy's scary. He does a lot of damage. But if you have LR full power Frieza, he kind of just melts the, the golden great ape, you know? All right. Oh, no supers this turn. Damn, all right. Uh, I want to use this active skill, but I feel like I should save it. I feel like I should save it. Yeah, we're going to save it. We're going to save it. Let, let, let's use it on either uh, one of the Super Saiyan 4 Gokus, basically. All right. Uh, okay, taking double digits. Yep. No super again. That's interesting. That's interesting. I was expecting at least one super, but I guess not. All right. So 6.1 mil there. And now we're on Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And let me see. Uh, you know what? I think we're going to have to throw Piccolo in the front. Because uh, otherwise we could be in some trouble. Um, Freeze is not getting a lot of defense. I'm going to actually pop the Whis here. Mainly because I'm scared that Piccolo is going to take some crazy damage there. And then let's just give this one orb to Goku. Oh, we got a Dokken attack. Interesting. Okay, so we're taking a super with the Whis active. We should be okay. That was okay. That was okay. All right, let me get this Dokken attack down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, crap. I missed one. Ah, that's okay. That's okay. It should still be a really good attack. It should still do some 
pretty nasty damage to the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Man, my hair is getting kind of crazy. I need, I need a haircut ASAP. Like, this is a bit too much. Like, I kind of like it on the one hand, but on the other hand, like, it's just getting my eyes all the time, man. I don't like it when it gets to my eyes. Cut that. Cut that. Yo, editor. Scratch that from the tape, okay? <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> Sometimes I say things, man, and then, like, I hear it myself, like, a second later, I'm like... Why did I just say that? <laughs> like, why, why did I do that to myself? Well, anyways, um, I probably shouldn't have drawn attention to it. I think a lot of people would have just, like, let it go. It would have just gone over a lot of people's heads if I didn't make a big deal out of it. But uh, because I made a deal out of it now, it's, like, a thing. And I'm probably going to get memed again, man. <laughs> people keep sending me these clips, these videos. I'm dope on memes. They're like, yo. Bro, you gotta stop like turning yourself into a meme. But I can't. I'm not. I'm not doing it on purpose. Literally, like I. I'm just talking. You know, I'm just saying whatever comes to my mind first. And I gotta be more careful about that, man. <laughs> gotta gotta be more careful about that. All right. So we should definitely be killing Goku here. Um. At least you know we have a very high likelihood of killing Goku. Now, if we don't. I still think we'll be fine because uh, at this point the freeze, the third form Frieza should be hitting decently hard. Like every super should be over two million, and uh, yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. This freeze is crazy. This freeze is insane. Like for for specifically Goku enemies, he's the best unit in the game, right? No question. Against Goku, he's the best unit in the game. Against other things, he's still one of the best units in the game. But, you know, there's more of a debate there, right? It's, it's, it's a little bit more of a close contest. Um, holy crap. Okay, that's a lot of attacks in the front and the back. I think we're going to have to pop a Whis, right? Uh, Piccolo, where he is, actually isn't too bad because his defense is not terrible. And he also... Um, I don't know if he's fully built up yet, actually. Because he gets attack and defense from, you know, from, soup, from attacking himself. And then also... At the start of each turn, I wasn't counting, so I think he might still have a little bit more of a build to go, or a little bit more building to go, rather. But I'm not sure. Either way, I think he'll be okay. I, I think he's attacks, he attacked twice, which means that he can still build up one more time and maybe get to like 180k, 200k, or something like that for defense. We'll see. Either way, I'm not, I'm not too concerned, man, because we got this Frieza. Right, we got we got the Frieza. Even though he has type disadvantage, guaranteed crits, so it doesn't matter. And, uh, oh, that could be bad, actually. That could be bad. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> hey, at the very least, we know Piccolo is going to be okay now. We know Piccolo is going to be okay now. But that was... Still pretty rough. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um. Well, I don't think we need to. He's not gonna super us again, is he? I highly doubt it. But what if he does? Okay, so let's do that first. And uh, let's see, we'll give these to Goku. I'm going to pop a Princess Snake just cuz, just cuz, and then we're going to give an 18 key super to the Frieza still, and then a, a super to the third form Frieza. <laughs> he shouldn't super us back to back turns, but I think he has sometimes, like he, he's done it before, so I don't really trust it. Let's let this Goku do his thing, it's finally his time to shine, right, he finally has type advantage. His animations are so clean, man. I do still think Frieza's animations look better. But it's it's pretty close, and yeah, I'm just happy I got him. I, I know it, it took a lot. I don't I don't know if it was necessarily worth it. Like if I if I could go back and do it over, would I do the same thing? I don't know. Maybe maybe not. Hard to say. But the important thing is that we have him. Ah, 
how he's gonna super freeze a back to back like that. The good thing is we do have the stacked damage reduction from the items, so it did no damage, right? Had no chance to do any damage. But still, why 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 back to back? Why Frieza back to back? I guess Goku doesn't like Frieza. <laughs> so I guess it kind of makes sense actually. Okay, I think we can use the active skill now. I think we can pop the active skill. No! Oh man! I made a miscalculation, guys. <laughs> I messed up. That's that's my bad. I, I swear we had I swear we had the active skill available to us, man. Um Yeah, okay, so it looks like I actually won't be using any active skills in this run because I'm pretty sure Freeze is going to kill the Goku. Um, that's my bad, guys. Yeah, I really wanted to use it for the showcase, right? Because, like, ah, man, I shouldn't have saved it. I'm stupid. I shouldn't have saved it. Ah, <sighs> well, what can you do? Actually, wait, hold on. If we don't kill... Oh, okay. Okay, if we don't kill the Super Saiyan 4 Goku here, then potentially we can pop it next turn. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, perfect. Perfect. It worked out. It worked out. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me actually do this. Let me turn off the music. Let me turn up my game music. Now, I'm not sure how loud this is going to be. So prepare yourselves. Okay. Alright, so hopefully that didn't make your ears bleed. Um, I almost never play with the game sounds, so I'm not really sure like how loud exactly that was. Hopefully not too loud. Um, but the animation was beautiful, man. That was that was some beautiful, 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 beautiful. Why is that word so hard hard for me to say right now? That was a beautiful animation. I enjoyed it. Hope you, hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. And uh, that is your showcase, guys. That is the new and improved. Planet Namek Saga team, big shout out once again to my boy Toonrami for his OP, super super OP as uh, Frieza, man. Congratulations on rainbowing him. I don't know what his Goku looks like, I'm assuming it's not rainbowed, but I think it has more dupes than mine, because mine has no dupes, so it should have more dupes. Actually no, I think he had two dupes the last time we talked. Maybe it's rainbowed now. I don't know. He, he's been getting mad lucky, man. His luck is just out of control, and I'm very happy for him. He deserves it, for sure. You know, if it was anybody that was going to get crazy luck like that, uh, he's definitely one of the people that would I would want to get it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, man, that is probably where I'm going to move on from the first part of the celebration. Because overall, it was kind of rough. It was kind of rough. So I want to forget about it. I want to move on to part two. Hopefully the part two LR is hype, because obviously uh, we're going to be doing some more summons once that banner drops. Uh, seems like there might be a part 3 as well. Most likely no unit though, like no summonable unit for part 3, but um, still a lot more celebration to go guys. You know, even though it feels like it's been going on for a while, it's kind of just started. You know, like we still got part 2 and potentially part 3. So look forward to that guys, and that is going to be today's showcase. Let me know in the comments what you think about this team. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already like had a chance to test it out, but if you haven't, and this is like your first introduction to it, let me know what you think about it, man. Planet Dynamic Saga, I feel like, is a very impressive, um, very, very impressive team at this point. You know, like, not top five by any means, but one of the better categories in the team now, with the addition of the Frieza and the Goku. And also, the side units are no slouch either. You know, like, defensively, I feel like the Frieza could be, could have been a little bit better, but he's not bad. Uh, you know, great support, good damage. Um, I like all these units, man. All four of them, I think, were 
uh, really good additions to the category. And that's it. That's all I got to say. And man, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.